now I want to load a few extra brushes and try some special effects. As I pause over each one, you'll notice there's one called Dune Grass, and I can click and make blades of grass. And this has some brush dynamics, so as I drag, I can actually fill in all of this bottom scene. And we'll show you brush dynamics as well, so you can figure out how to do this with your own custom brushes. So that's getting a little bit grassy and busy, which is good for me for now. If I want to see what other brushes are available, I can stretch my brushes panel here at the lower right corner, and I'm going to click once, and if I click quickly, it automatically makes a new brush. I'm going to hit Cancel, click on the Panel menu, and you'll notice we have a whole collection of brushes. If I choose Assorted Brushes, I can click Append, which adds them to the end. So here, you'll notice I have some new brushes, ornaments, dashed circles, snowflakes, textures, and if I want to experiment with one of these, I can simply click and drag. And this has repeating settings. I'm going to undo that and take a look at a few others. So again, I'll hit my panel menu, and I'll come to calligraphic brushes, ones that look like calligraphy. I'll hit append to add them to the end, and these are very nice for doing angles. As I click and drag, it's like a calligraphy stroke over the image. There are a few more, and you could take a look and tour these on your own, but some of the ones that you might want to go back to is the special effect brushes. I'll hit append to add them to the end, and I actually have images in my brush. I have an azalea, so when I click, it's popping in a bunch of flowers. I'll click again, and I have my ducks not in a row, which is always fun. Falling ivy leaves, so as I click and drag, they're filled. And they're varying their opacity and size and scatter in order to create this canvas. Now this is no work of art, I'm just clicking and holding down in order to fill in my stage, but sometimes I get some really interesting results in just clicking and dragging and experimenting with the different brush shapes. It's like a storm at the ocean, almost.